We are back with the medium. Okay, now we've got to get into this Niwa. Is it an, an apartment complex? I think it is. What it looks like. <laughs> Do you know what it reminds me of? It actually reminds me of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The, the old residential build, buildings that you, you, you fight through in Russia. But I know this is in Poland. Okay, all right, we've got little footsteps here. Yeah? Shit the bed, yeah. Okay. So it's it's as we thought. A lot of people died here. And all of their spirits are still Well, they haven't been released, have they? Go left bumper and move L to find the echo. Definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Hmm. I wonder what he's talking about. You think that's Thomas? I'm not sure if it's Thomas or not. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Well, let's follow this. Okay, so while we're following this, I shall share with you some more creepy things that's happened to me. I know I told you about one of them, which is probably the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me last episode. But if you remember me telling you about my dad's ex-girlfriend, how she was like so into the supernatural and things. Well, is that Hello? somebody? Look, there's somebody stood there. Anybody I can see the there? shadow. Yep. Oh, it looked like a man wearing a trench coat. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Yeah, so... In her house, they, she had a chair in the corner. And I never used to sit there. Like, I, I don't even know why it was there. It, it was just like a normal sofa chair, like as part of the, the furniture. It was it was in a way where you you wouldn't sit there because like you couldn't see the TV or anything, and well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Yes, well, that's not going to help us getting here, though, is it? Shit, the handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Ah, okay. Oh no. Find the child. Right, yeah, so anyway. And if you remember me telling you that my, my dad's ex-girlfriend, she... Whenever she used to go to sleep, she would always, like, say that someone was sitting on, on her chest during the night and she couldn't move, even though she was awake. Now, I, I do know, like, I, I've told you last episode, I don't believe in ghosts. Well, <laughs> I like to think I don't believe in them. But, um... She, she used to have that happen to her very frequently. I know that's, it, there is a, a scientific term for that, it's called sleep paralysis. It's that's because your, your brain doesn't initiate the proper things to put you to sleep and hold you still. So when you, sorry, and you wake up during that, so it feels like you can't do anything and someone's sitting on your chest, it's just because of the, the, the things that your, your body does to you when you go to sleep. What am I looking for here? Um, but anyway... Back to the chair in her sitting room. She always used to say anybody who sits in that chair always falls asleep because that's the the ghost of the house's chair. Like that's where they sit. And like as a kid, that's that's pretty fucked up. That, uh, that is messed up. That though. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? But one time I went round to my dad's girlfriend's house because I got on, I got on really, really well with her. She had two daughters, and I, I used to play with them. They they were great. And I remember one time I went round with one of my friends, and we were we were playing in the back garden, and then we we came in to play on. Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. 
they had a they had a, a computer console. It was it was really weird. It was no no but nobody I knew had one. It's because it wasn't very popular. It actually ran on CDs before CDs were a thing. I'm sure it was like a. I don't know what it was, but it didn't have very good games for it. But it was still a CD platform and we used to play on that. And I remember that my mate sat in the chair that I was telling you about where people go to sleep. And he, he, well, next time we knew, we, we were talking to him and he was asleep. Now I know that sounds stupid. He, he, he could have just went to sleep. But nah, mate, that it's fucking weird. Like two like kids like we we were bright eyed and bushy tailed we we've been playing all day we we played on the computer like there's no way you would have fell asleep regardless but anyways so that that's that's another freaky thing about the chair but I've got something else to tell you so anyway my love summer in full swing the resort is stuffed to the gills and you know what that means more work for yours truly but it's good work honest work Mister Rekowitz said he'd like to keep me on can you believe it I won't screw this up not this time promise so that's F. Now I think whoever F is, is Thomas's girlfriend. Because we saw the love carving in the tree. T and F. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk? Yeah. Alright, let's check this out. Not much here. Although... This could come in handy. There we go. Now the funny thing is, screwdrivers can in fact open doors that don't have handles as long as the lock mechanism is still inside. Because it's normally just a square pin. Long oh, shit. You little shit. Fucking <laughs> shit, me pants. Who's beeping the horn? Would the battery in this car even still be working after all this time? I highly doubt it. Let's look inside. Let's look inside no again. One here. Ooh. Okay, right, I think we can get inside. Let's have a quick look over here. As I was saying, the I was at, I had a sleepover at my dad's girlfriend's house with like their two daughters and like my dad stayed over. Like every every we each weekend they'd like alternate. They'd stay at our house and we'd stay at their house. And I was stay at their house and in the middle of the night, now remember I said she said there was a ghost that lived in the house. In their kitchen, there was a door to like a little, I don't know, it, it would have been an old coal shed, but it, they got, they made it into like a, a drying, a washing and drying room, where they kept the washing machine and things, and that was also a place to store their bikes. So... In that room, there was a shelf attached to the wall, like screwed in with L brackets, and that's where she kept some of her books. With, her, like I said, the, the washing machine and the the. Sorry, I'm just paying attention to the game there with the washing machine and the bikes. What on a night of that sleepover? When nobody heard this, it was just when we went down in the morning, during the the night, that shelf with the books on had been ripped off the wall. The shelf was on the other side of the room. Bear in mind, it couldn't have just fell off the wall and rolled across the floor to the other side of the room because there was no way for it to roll or go because there was bikes parked across the front of the washing machines in front of the shelves. This shelf being ripped off the wall was on the other side of the, the, the room. No explanation. Door was locked. It wasn't as if someone came in. And even if someone came in, why did they not steal the bikes? <laughs> hey, man. Just thinking back to my childhood, some... I've seen some, well not seen, but I've been involved in some freaky shit. There we go, we're in. So I think that... The great dumpster heist of 1999. Yeah, let's check out the dumpster. So that's my freaky story for this episode. I do have another one for you next episode, but we will save that. For next episode, and I'll actually concentrate on the game now instead of telling you the sh freaky shit that's happened to me. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Eva. You Why am I taking this outside? Oh, so I can get on top of the entrance. Oh, that's right, because look, there, the glass is broke. Now, before I do that, is there anything else in here? Nothing. It was just for that dumpster. Come on, then. Question. Question, everybody. How's the tree trunks in here? 
That's a mystery for another day. Oh, I can hear something, I can hear something. Sounds like someone struggling for breath. Look, we can hear voices. Look, I said, look, we can hear voices. Yeah, sorry, you don't hear with your eyes. Right, wait, let's see if we can find a, one of them things. What was it called again? Fucking hell, what went on? Was it an actual massacre? Like, did people cut? Did, did the army come in here? So it's true. The Neva massacre. Neva, I that's how you pronounce it. Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. Neva, not Neva. Neva. Oh, that is terrifying. Yeah, there'll definitely be some lost souls from a massacre. Just think, if you, if you unknowingly, like if, if you just Hello? get caught off. Anyone? <clears throat> Thomas? You there? If you get caught off guard in a, 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 of any type of death, massacre or getting hit by a car, like, there is a strong chance that if we, what we are to believe about the supernatural is true, then it's it's highly likely that you are going to get caught stuck in between two worlds because you've got unfinished business. The duckling. I can't use my... Oh, no, I can. It's got nothing. Right, so where am I? Right there in the purple, I'm in the lobby. Reception's there. Okay. The day room. We're going to have to find our way to the day room. That's where the kids are going to be. That's going to be fucking terrifying. Right, so this is the reception. Absolutely nothing. Sinners be damned. Kowalski, Brunon, Smok Halina, Victoria Mora, and Boris Zelazo. No one with a K, and no Thomas. Hmm. Vivienne, the star of the Bolshe Theatre, the Neva Workers Resort. Thomas? Hmm. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Someone's ringing the reception bell. Answer the bell. I just want to know what this is. Oh, it's a lock. Right, okay, so we could possibly get in there. Oh, we need to check out this bell.
<laughs> oh, don't do this. It's definitely the playroom. I knew we'd be going to the playroom. Pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm. I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. They became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. That I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you Don't. seen Marianne? <gasps> yes. Oh, would you play with me, just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything I'm looking can... for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, some... Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. I can't go that way. Gail. I need to get up there somehow. You can, though. Look. The staircase is actually there in the spirit world, but it's just not there in the real world. Can we not? Oh, I don't think we can separate, can we? Oh, look. There's a barrier placed. Okay then, right, how are we going to get there? Wait, there, there is a room. In here. Promotion. My dearest, I know I promised a visit, but guess what? I got promoted, yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it, a fresh start, a place to call home for us, I mean. You, me, the kids, I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. Hmm. Right, we need to find a key of some sort to get through that. Well, I don't know if we can get through there yet. Hey. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. Hmm, I don't know if this is a good idea. First floor. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and 
Look, we can't get out. Press and hold B for an out of body experience. Let go. Ah. There. A fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. So could we not have just done this to get up the stairs? Gotta move fast. I'm trying, but the frame rate's absolutely tragic. like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Oh shit, how are they really quick? Oh, it's through here. Look, this is what's past the gate. Hmm, <laughs> friends forever. Are we actually timed in this state or is it just like a fictional timer like it it fits the law but it doesn't actually affect the gameplay? Hmm. Look, I'm disappearing. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, so you do have to you you are timed. Your spirit body disappears. The longer you're, you're out of body. Oh my god, the frame rate is dog shit. I think th the problem with this is, is it's rendering two bloody levels at once to give you this split screen action and it's just so graphically intensive. Don't know where to go. Actually lost. <sighs> Fuck's sake, man. Where we're we going? Jesus Christ. I'm a fucking ghost, man. Can I just walk through walls? I'm a ghost, 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 ghost. Um. Oh my days. Oh, is, th is that it over there? I can fucking see. It's actually behind us. I've just, I've just realised where it is. But the camera keeps pointing me that way. I don't want to be that way. Oh, I can see the camera in this game is going to give you all sorts of problems. If I could have looked around, I would have seen that, but it didn't look as if I could go that way because the camera was facing the other way. Right, quickly, let's get back. Okay, Marianne. Look, I'm now disintegrating. Look, she skipped leg day. Come on, baby. How do I do it? Char I think it's right trigger. Charges it up. Come on, girl, come on, girl, come on, girl. Uh -huh. Done. There we go, right, hold on. I am actually going to have to have a look at these settings. You know what it is? I did, um... First episode, everything was perfect, but now it's just went completely tits up. Textures won't affect the res the the frame rate. The shaders. So bad. I just think they I think the the game's just so badly optimized.
I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Done. That's just showing we can look to the bottom floor. There was nothing there. Oh my god, the frame. That The most terrifying thing about this game is the fucking optimization. Oh, wait there, wait there. That's hideous. Richard Tarkovsky. The first time in the newer resort. Oh, he's a painter. I think this game would have been better if you could just switch between... Oh shit, am I going to have to... Wait there. See, look, this time I can go, but she can't. Range. So what? Don't actually know what I'm doing here. Wait there, maybe this floor's got fuck all to do with anything. Let's go back in the lift and see if we can go to the second floor. There's nothing even here. So all that was pointless. Okay. Now where did she go? Well, there's a footprint. They're going. I can't even see which way they're going because you're not allowed to look. There's like, there should be a first person camera view. Oh, it's going that way. I see where it is now. It came from up the stairs and it's going along. Huh. What is that? <gasps> well, she's never seen that before. Sadness? Through here. Why? Maybe she can't touch that. Ah! Spirit shield. Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, so these butterflies aren't friendly. The key. Some wonky ass key that like. <laughs> Who made this thing? I just want to check if this is a never-ending never corridor. This looks like it has some relevance. Ah, gross. It looks like flesh. Oh yeah, baby. Is that skin? Oh, we need a new item for that. Okay. I'm going to have to... Something to get rid of skin. Maybe fire.
Oh wait, is that the door we're supposed to go in? Oh no, that's where we went in with the, the out-of-body experience. So fucking weird this game. Oh my god, the frame rate. I, I think. I understand if your game looks amazing, right? This game doesn't even look that good in the frame rate. I'm, I'm getting like console levels of frame rate. And I've got everything turned to low. Like, bro, optimize your game. Well. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, there's a fucking door here, man. I didn't even see it. Oh, I'm not telephone. you want Ugh, that voice I don't know why but it gives me shivers looks like the only way great this is the way Sparks too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Okay. So we need to put something in there, probably flowers or something that's aligned to the dead. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Use L to find the point of recollection. Sunflower weary of time for my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower. Oh. So we need that item. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Ursula Rotowski. Depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition treated with electroshock. Electroshock. Refill six times. Fucking hell. Electroshock therapy. Well, no wonder people's unhappy. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. 
Right, wait there, wait there, wait there. Well, let's go towards the screen this time. Sadness. So that's just a collectible. That doesn't really have any impact whatsoever on what we're doing. Hmm. Right, where's this item? Ah, oh, so we can't do it the other way. Now we can go out of the body, but we can't just go in as a human. Oh, shit. This is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh, God. I hate this. Come on, fast, fast, fast. We're running out of time. Can't even run with her, she can only walk. Right, let's do this memory thing. What? A bath of blood. What is it? <laughs> fucking bitch, you fucking. Oh, you absolute cunt nugget. I fucking shit me pants. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You fucking bastard. Oh my god. I think I've just coughed me dinner back up into me bloody lungs. <laughs> I I do know what it is, I do appreciate jump scares. I quite like them. That's what it represents. Don't know what... Like this looks like one of their memories that I can reconstruct but... I, I can't do anything with it. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. So we can look, get through this. Oh, that's lush. Look at this. Hello, Clarice. Yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. It was. I liked it. I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. There have been times when I thought about ending it all, but I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side, forever. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Imagine being trapped in the nether. Now, where are we? Ah, so can we take this flower now? This could be useful. Right, I know what we're gonna do now. Brilliant, happy days. Memory strong enough to defy this place. Oh, so only we can do these memory things when we're in the human land. Hmm. 
You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? I think that nurse is something sinister. Right, let's go. Can I get out? How do we leave this place? I can't even run anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm limited to walking. There's the door. Right, watch this. Light it up. Okay, so what did, I, what did I need this power for? Oh, the spirit shield. That's it. Well, use it then. Oh, I see what we're doing, look. Oh, cause, so we get access to the doors in both worlds by moving out of the way, okay. Are we gonna get accosted by moths here? We might die here, you know, because I don't I don't know if we're supposed to do this before we get that power. Tear the flesh. I've still got some of the power left. Look, I've only got a little bit of it left. Reclaiming history, fire erupts in the sky, explosions echo across the wilderness, sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski. Oh, that's why, that's why we crossed the, the fort to get to here. This was probably collateral damage in the, in the war. Most intense fighting during 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks. The grand opening of the Niwa Workers Resort. Liberated in, liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. Here then. Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll this stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> This Thomas Rekovich. Oh, right. 
Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? Uh, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and all... Blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Mm, not Sadness? yet. I don't think we can trust that that sadness. I just think she's a little bitch. <laughs> she's a little it bitch. It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. Why can I not get access to this? Oh, there it is. What the hell happened here? It still works. Someone's Camera. using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Someone jotted this down recently. Don't turn off that alarm clock. Medication. 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 Double check the forest path. Get to the hotel. Clear out the old papers. Get on with the research, double check the office books, check up on L. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? Salt's supposed to um, keep spirits away, I don't know why My that's a thing. jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Shit. Oh, maybe it is a human then. Thomas is still alive. Right, I think that key's probably for this clock over here, which I saw glow. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Yes. There we go. That's ah. Move the clock hand. There. An imprint. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Can't access it. There. Wait. I can feel something's wrong. It's coming. It's coming. Looks like a passage. Let's see what Thomas has got to say. Is it Thomas? Shit. Thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh yeah. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that, that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. That's a hideous picture. It just looks disturbing. What else? Aha! aha. Exactly, aha! Uh, figures. There's got to be a way to power it up.
I think we're going to have to go into the spirit world, aren't we? Powder from the other side. Real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. What's this shit on the floor? Where's the thing again? Can we fire a charge shot at this already? I don't have enough bloody mana. Hmm. Well, I think we might have to go back to get some mana. Oh, wait there. Oh, I thought that was a hole in the wall, but it's not. Right, wait there. I bet you there's another access point. Stuck in there. Well, we know that. I didn't even know which way I'm going anymore. A spirit well. That's it. I could absorb some of that energy. There we go, baby. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. Oosh. Let's see if it worked. Now what I am going to do is because I don't know when I when I'm gonna need to use this energy next. Let's get some more, let's refill. Now what are we gonna do again? Oh yes, now we can use the, the button. Come to Papa! Do it, baby. Two seconds. Oh, bullshit. Forgot to open the bloody door again. It's a shame the game only lets you run in certain places. Like, I can't run now. I'm stuck to walk and slow as fuck. Oh, well, I'm glad about that. I'm glad we've lost our, our tie with the Spirit Realm because I think the, the game's performance just, nope. it's pure dog shit. Doesn't work. I prefer, I'd prefer to be in either one world or the other. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Oh, so that's why it gave us this to do earlier on. We're going to have to develop a photo. Don't forget about the red light. Light five seconds. Time in each tray of three seconds. Just like the start of the game. Okay. I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Looks like there's a train missing. Mm-hmm.
But what about the red light? Oh yeah, that, this is the red light. That's one. Two more That's the fixer. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. We can't do this, but oh no, we can. Nothing there. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. It, I won't let it, even if that means no. I'll find another way. Oh, there's definitely some fucked up shit going on in this room. Why don't we just go home? Because ain't nobody got time for this. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be fucking about in here. No chance. Multigrade. One more. This should we come in handy. Oh, there's a tray. Nice. Now, wait there. Does a tray over there already have liquid in it? Oh, no, there's one there. Okay. That's all of them. That's it. Right, let's have a check. So we need... Developer Stop Fixer. Let's put this tray down. Developer Stop Fixer. Wow. It doesn't really matter. Developer Stop Fixer. Right. Wait there. Ah, so developers called multigrade. Multigrade stop fixer. Okay, so multigrade. Multigrade stop fixer. Okay. Right, so let's get the photo in the. Oh, well, wait there. Four to four, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now for three seconds in here. One, two. Oh no, wait, they haven't put it in yet. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Looks like a... It looks like a girl. One, two, three. It's fucking me. No way. Mothman. Don't. Don't. Look at me!
Go baby, go baby, go. Oh, nah. I'm getting Nemesis vibes. It just wants a friend. Oh fucking hell, it's getting close, shit. Let me try you on. Let me try you on! What is that it? Did I die? Shut up, man! <laughs> Fucking died! You're not completely defenseless against the dangers. Press right trigger to discharge energy. Fucking shit, the bed. Oh my god, it's gonna be a running away simulator. Really? Oh, don't say that we're met with an infinitely long load screen every time I die at this. And I'm guaranteed I'm gonna die a load of times because. Running away sequences are always shit because it's always a beginner's trap. Because you don't know what you're supposed to do or get away. Not to mention it's fucking pitch black and I can't see a fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, don't, let's go. Don't go. Oh, God. Don't leave me here. Hello? Run, bitch, run! Let me try you off. Oh god, no! It's when I come to the butterflies, what do I do? What the fuck's going on here, lads? Fucking load the fucking game. What are you supposed to. <laughs> That's just fucking shit, this game, innit? Why? Why? the fucking trailers always look amazing and the game's dog shit. Mate, I was just having fun exploring creepy mansions. I didn't want to run away from things like this and like have to sit through a five minute fucking load screen every time I die because I don't know where I'm gone. Oh my days. Fuck this. Don't go. Do I have to go straight through this? Right, there's a, there's a wall filled with butterflies, right? But I, I can't use the spirit shield. Look, I can't, I'm pressing the button for the spirit shield and it's not working. What the, what's the point? I'm pressing buttons. I can't do anything. I don't have any fucking spirit blast. Shut up, what the f going on? See, this is shit, this. This is just fucking dog shit. Who put this in the fucking game? Now it is, I'm not even trying to learn how to do it myself. I'm just going to fucking Google the answer. Well, I would, but I've lost my phone. <laughs> I've lost it even now where I put my phone. The fucking spirit world's hidden it. I'll try it one last time if I can't figure this out. Maybe I have to press... Maybe I have to press right trigger when... When he picks us up. Right, I've got no. It's because I've got. I've got no spirit energy. Right, I'm pressing right trigger. I'm pressing right trigger. Listen, don't fuck all. Yeah, man, this game is going to suck me fucking balls. Oh my god, why? Why do who? D does anyone play test this shit? Do you know what it is? I bet you, if you give this ge this fucking section. To 100 play testers, 99 of them will fail this and be like, what the fuck is this shit? The medium. The medium escaped the monster. No wonder it's a top fucking mention in Google because the game's dog shit and no one knows how to do it. Oh, shut up. 
Following the cutscene inside Thomas's secret room, you need to escape from the monster as it begins to chase you. This is particularly easy. Why is it particularly easy? Mate, it doesn't fucking do anything. Reach the spirit pool. I can't, I, mate, I can't get to the fucking spirit pool. Oh my god, this fucking game. How do you do? How do you get this? How do you escape the monster? It's not easy. It's clearly not easy because I don't know where to fucking go. I'm sorry, right? Do you know when you put, when you put shit things like this in your games, right? Don't make it load a previous save. Have it remembered in memory so it automatically starts you back at the beginning of the sequence. Other games have done it. This should be no exception. Fuck, I went the wrong way. I'm sticking to the left this time. I've tried going every other way. It's particularly easy to do this section. I will it would be mate if you're a fucking cunt, wouldn't it? Oh god. No. Oh, so so you can run past oh fuck off. So why Nah, this is bullshit this. Let me just pause it here. So every other instance of fucking moths or butterflies, you can't get past them. But now suddenly you can because because reasons. Nah, game, suck me dick, you're full of shit. Terrible. Absolutely terrible gameplay. Ah, not a fan of light, I didn't even care. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it an episode here because I'm actually raging, and um, the game's fucking spoiled itself so far. If there's more running away from monster shit, I don't want to know, man. I just want a supernatural horror thing. I don't want to run away from things. I just want to be tortured by the fucking spirit world. Oh my god, it looks like I bought another game. I'm gonna hate. Why do I do these things without looking at reviews? Right. Anyways, lads. Maybe this is. Maybe this is the first and only time we have to do this but if it keeps going like this i want to punch me face off see you in the next episode lads let's hope the game doesn't fuck itself in the arse see you there mates